Hello and welcome to Module 1 of MFA 700. Let's get right to it. The learning objectives. I'm going to let you read these on your own because this video is more along the lines of how to do things. I'm also going to just let you read the module at a glance because we're going to be covering those during this video. For readings and resources, you need to buy Story Genius and read Chapter 1. You can find Story Genius on places like Amazon or other locations. You are also required to subscribe to the Hot Sheet. And if you go to, let's go back a step here. If you just go to hotsheetpub.com, this is where you need to go. You need to hit subscribe and fill this out. You can have a free trial down here. That is required by the school. Moving on. In the module overview, please read through this. We have a lot to cover in this video, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this um, section here. But keep in mind that this may seem very daunting, but anytime you do something for the first time, it can be a challenge. And the more you do something, the better you get at it. Before you get started, Every week I will post additional resources for Module 1. That additional resource is already in the announcement section. It is the introduction video which I have already created. For 1-2, you need to submit your thesis topic validation. How you do so is if you have received your topic approval, all you have to do is take that form and upload it to this section. If you did not receive topic approval, then you need to email me and let me know what's going on so we can work it out and get that taken care of. If you have topic approval, all you have to do is upload it and you are done with this part. 1-3 is where we're going to spend the most time on this video. There are three parts to this. One part is where you're going to propose when you're going to submit your first and second parts of your thesis. Part two is when you're going to explain which uh, tracking tools and project planning tools you're going to use. And part three is going to be, as best as you can foresee, you, the amount of words you plan on doing by a certain time frame. Okay, you will submit this as a new thread by answering this thing. In fact, just copy this whole section right here and replace it with this information. Now, let me explain a couple of these a little more in detail. Let's work backwards. So if you know you have to write 10,000 words and you have to do it by, oh, let's say February 21st, you need to figure out how many words you're going to write per day or per week. That one's pretty easy. For this part right here, the project planning and tracking tools. Again, I'm kind of going backwards because this one here is going to take more time to explain. That one's pretty easy. If you click on this link right here, you get to this screen right here. These are the different tools that you can use. Scrivener is one, and I'm probably saying that incorrectly, is one you can use. It does all three of these, but it costs money. So, Or you can say I'm going to use Scrivener or one of the following three. Okay. So your progress tracking tools, write track or Excel, novel organizational tools, you can Word Outline or Trello, word processing tools, Word, Google Docs, Noveler. I will say me personally, I use Microsoft Word for these two things and I can use Excel for a practice tool. Um, honestly, Microsoft Word is the best one to use. I would not use Google Docs when writing a book simply because it deals with all sorts of formatting issues when it's time to go over to the publishing side. So that is a headache. But I would use Microsoft Word. But you can use whatever you want. So in here, you're going to say, what I'm going to use are these three things. And then you would have any questions about these tools. Keep in mind that I have not used all of these tools. Um, and I've just given you my personal preference. But there you go. And then last but not least, which is actually the first one, the submission schedule. So if you look down here, I have posted the submission schedule. How this is going to work is that we are breaking it up. So three students are going to submit their first part of their thesis 
per module, three different students, okay? So for module two, we need three students to submit it, module three, three different students, and so on. You get to put your preferences in on which ones you would like to do and when. And then your second part would be when you're going to be doing this. Keep in mind these have to be a minimum of 10,000 new words that you've written during this class. My gut feeling tells me that a lot of people are going to want to use module 5 and module 9 as their first choice. Good for you. Okay, so how do we determine who gets what? Simple as this. Okay, the submissions will be created on a first come first serve basis, right? With early posters more likely to get their first preferences approved. I will do everything I can to ensure that you get your first or second choice, but it is really based on the fact that I have to read these and give you good feedback, and I cannot do 12 of these in one week. It just won't happen. So what you're going to do is when we go back to this page, you're going to say for submission one, my first choice would be module whatever, and my second choice would be module whatever. For submission two, which is the next 10,000 words, my first choice would be whatever, my second choice would be whatever. So in your post, in your post, you're gonna hit start a new thread, and you're going to respond using these three things, your, your preferences, your planning tools, and your goals. So all of these things, this was just one submission with this information will go when you start a new thread. All right, let's move on. In 1-4, this is a non-graded discussion, but again, you get out of this class what you put into it. I have posted a question to get us started. And simple question is, you can just read it, and then you can reply. Um, these are dealing with the publishing and writing trends for us to have a, just a chance to have a discussion. Moving on. 1-5 is an open workshop. This will use Annotate. This is something that is fairly new to uh, Southern New Hampshire. When I click on Annotate and go to it, right now I see the class that I'm teaching. There will be one that says MFA 700. Again, if you simply follow these directions, this will be a chance for you to just share your work and get advice from your classmates. Again, you'll get out of this class what you put into it. And last but not least is the final project review. Keep in mind for this class, we will have those thesis submissions. So again, there's, there's part one and part two, which you will then um, submit based on the schedule which we will create together. During this class, about module five or so, we'll create a pitch. And then towards the end of this class, we will create a reflection. All of these will be combined into the final project. Yeah, so that's really, don't worry about these, the pitch or the reflection, worry about, don't worry, but just focus on writing your thesis at this particular time. And last but not least, just remember to check the, if you go to tools and you go to calendar, it'll show you the deadlines. Keep in mind that everything is due Sunday night by 11.59 p.m. I try to get stuff graded the next day. I am teaching two courses at Southern New Hampshire and I am a department head at Shaw University, so I am busy, but I do my best to get stuff graded as soon as possible. Please turn your work in on time. Please, oh please, oh please, because it makes things better for everyone. There you go, and let's have a wonderful class.